Hello and welcome to this Mastering the Marketplace video. David Starr here to help you decide which offer type is right for you when selling your offer in the Azure Marketplace. When starting down the path of offering your solution on the Marketplace, many publishers start with the question, which type of offer is the best fit for my solution? This quick video will walk through your options and the primary characteristics of each offer type. Here's a quick look at what we'll cover in this module. We're gonna take a tour through the different offer types to help you decide which is the right one for you. There are two factors that frequently influence publishers' decisions when choosing the right offer type. So we'll talk through the Azure Marketplace offer types looking at both supported deployment architectures and billing options. So let's get started so you can choose the right offer type that works for you. We'll start here at the beginning and ask the question first, where will our solution be deployed? And we have two options here, one being the publisher tenant, one being the customer tenant. We're gonna start with the publisher tenant side of things. If your offer is to be published within your own tenant, and served to your customers, that's a SaaS application. So the appropriate offer type, of course, is a software as a service or SaaS offer type. When using software as a service offer types, we get a very comprehensive billing capability. Firstly, we could charge per user on a monthly or annual basis for use of your software. More commonly, ISVs choose flat rate, which also bills monthly or annual, but it can also include one to three year annual terms. So I can set up my offer to, for example, bill annually every year for three years. SaaS offers also support metered billing, which is a topic unto itself, but suffice to say that allows you to bill for usage. So if your software performs certain transactions, let's say it sends SMS messages on behalf of the customer, you can bill for each message using metered billing. Next, let's go back over to the left and see what happens when we deploy into the customer tenant. Now, when we deploy to the customer tenant, we have another question to answer. Who manages the solution resources? That is, who's going to take care of that solution once it is published to the customer's tenant? We'll start with the case where it's the customer who will manage that solution. All right, so what are our offer type options here? One is it could be a container offer. Two, it could be a virtual machine offer. Now, both of those are considered or talked about as compute offer types. And so if the customer will manage the solution, compute offer types fit in there. And next, we have this notion of a solution template or a managed application both of which are different flavors of something called an Azure application. Now, why do you want to use one of these? Well, a solution template or managed app allows you to essentially wrap a offer of a container or a virtual machine into a solution template or managed app offer that will deploy not only the compute offer, but you can also deploy other Azure resources along side your compute resources, things like Cosmos databases or networking components or what have you. Let's take a look at pricing though for both container and virtual machines. Now, with virtual machines, we're able to charge via CPU. Now we can charge via uh, the number of CPUs that someone's using on their virtual machine, the CPU size, or we can provide a flat rate pricing and you can even make your virtual machine available for free. There are one or three year pricing options called reserved pricing. That is your customer can sign up for a one or three year deal and get pricing for that one or three year deal versus a out of the box monthly billing option. So monthly billing is the default option there unless you go with reserved pricing. 
Next though, we have container offers. Now container offers charge per core, per pod, per node, per cluster, those sorts of elements within a Azure Kubernetes service solution. Also containers do support metered billing just like SaaS offers do. Next, let's take a look at what happens back on the left-hand side when the person managing the solution is going to be the publisher. So when the publisher is going to manage the solution that is deployed into the customer's tenant, the way to do that is to, again, wrap one of the two compute offer types into a managed application. A managed application, again, type of Azure application, one of two flavors, could be a solution template or a managed app. So a managed app allows us to not only deploy the compute solution, also allows us to deploy those other resources as well. But finally, it can allow for a publisher to have access to the resources deployed within the customer's tenant such that the publisher manages those resources in an ongoing way. And speaking of management, the ability to charge through a managed application is restricted to charging for the services that you provide to support that solution. And they do include both monthly flat rate and metered billing, but just keep in mind that you must only charge for the management fee of keeping that solution up to date and current. You may not charge for intellectual property, the cost of your software, the cost of infrastructure, or things like this through a managed application. Again, it's just for the management services that you provide on top of the solution itself. Billing in this case will always be done through the compute offer that is deployed by the managed application. Let's take a look at what we just covered with a slightly different tack. Now SaaS offers always run in the publisher's tenant. There are several billing options for SaaS offers and this offer type is arguably the most flexible in terms of billing options. Compute offers, containers and VMs explicitly, run in the customer's tenant and are billed for usage. Azure applications are used to deploy compute offers in scenarios where the partner will manage the solution on behalf of the customer. Another way to use Azure apps is to configure it such that the customer manages the compute offer, but in both cases, one can deploy the other Azure services alongside the compute offers. Thank you for joining us for another video from Mastering the Marketplace, the learning library where technologists go to get their offer on the Microsoft Marketplace. For more videos, hands-on labs, and sample code, find us at aka.ms slash mastering the marketplace.